Hey guys, in this video, we'll be looking at a beam under a trapezoid load. And what we want to do is find the support reactions. So there's a support reaction here and a support reaction here. And how we're going to do this is by using the principle of superposition, where we split the beam up into two loadings, one that's triangular and one that's rectangular. And these two added together gives the same loading as the trapezoid. So what this rule says we can do is if we find the reactions of this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. We can simply add up the reaction supports on each case and that will give us our resultant reaction. So let's start off the most easiest one, our rectangular loading. If we transform this distributed load into a point load, it would simply be W times L, the area under the distributed load. And if we split this into two, we can see that our reactions support this point load equally so that our reactions will be WL on 2 and WL on 2. For the triangular load, it's a bit more complicated but we can do the same thing. We can transform this distributed load into a point load and it will be over here. And what this point load is, is the area under the distributed load. So that would be the area of a triangle, which is half L, w times L and define the support reactions Fy1 and Fy2 we will be using the summation of moments equals to zero so if we take the moments about this point over here summation of moments equals to zero and we take anti-clockwise as positive it means that Fy2 times L from this point over here gives us a positive moment and this point load over here gives us a negative moment so that would be negative half times W times L and this point load acts two thirds away from our moment because for a triangular load we know that the centroid is two thirds away from the smallest end so this is our lever arm, two thirds of L, and this equals to zero. So now we can solve this for Fy2. Fy2 times L would equal to, if we bring everything to the right hand side, this would equal to one third WL squared. So then we know that Fy2 equals to one third WL if you divide both sides by L. So we found one support reaction. So now we need to find Fy1. We can do this by summation of the forces in the y direction, taking up as positive. So this would be Fy1 plus, because Fy2 is also pointing up. And we found that as one third WL and minus the point load because it's pointing down this would be half WL and we equate this to zero and when we solve this equation we have FY1 equals to 1 on 6 WL so now we can add up our reactions to find the resultant support reaction on both sides so for our left hand side let's call that FY L for left hand side we have 1 6 WL plus the WL 1 2 and if you add this up you get 2 thirds WL and our FY on our right we have 1 third WL plus WL 1 2 and when you add these up, you get 5 on 6 WL. So our support reaction over here is 2 thirds WL. And our support reaction over here is 5 over 6 WL.